Hi, welcome back to our mini series How to Manage Key Accounts Using Strategy Mapper and Salesforce. In this video, we're going to discuss documenting your meetings. Scheduling meetings with customers is hard enough, so when you get one, make sure you document it. Not just notes, but who, what, when, and why. This is the sales intelligence required to maintain a strong relationship in a key account. Well, again, I'm in uh, big data analysis. And in this video, we're going to talk about capturing some meeting information and then populating the plan with that information. So I'm just going to go down here and look in activity history because I had created uh, a meeting uh, beforehand with uh, a cu the customer, the account, and I just put some information in there. So you see it brings me into my meeting page. So some of the things are I've got my meeting attendees and here's where I can put you know their role and stance, uh, any notes about this individual, why is somebody for, uh, what's their role, why is somebody against, and it color codes them uh, based on uh, their, their buying signals, their stance, their opinion, and then I can even change the icon to a person's face here. I can also take notes, both public which doesn't matter, everybody can see them that's in, in the meeting if they get out. Internal notes is really only for my team's consumption. There may be some things that I maybe say something or annotate about a particular meeting attendee or the account. I do not want that to get to the customer themselves. One of the key things too is this actionable intelligence or the sales, sales intelligence that you're gathering in your meetings. Some of the things you can gather are the decision date, uh, if it's related to a particular project or product or initiative that they're working on. Uh, is it budgeted? Reasonable customer actions coming out of the last meeting and actions are coming out of this meeting, which you've agreed upon, and decisions you've agreed upon. Open issues, business drivers, technical drivers, things like that. Uh, customer requirements, for example, uh, maybe they have a requirement to be 100% native Salesforce. We can annotate that, put a comment in there, what products do we believe uh, meets that requirement. We can say strategy mapper and we say that it meets that requirement 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now we're building the customer requirements. Uh, who are the competitors, their strengths and weaknesses? Are the pain points that we've discovered uh, what the customers told us or we've identified our strengths within the account our weaknesses obstacles we're going to encounter or we're encountering objections we're encountering and the why buys and we save all that and we put all this in the plan uh, when you click completed on the plan, it's red before you click it. When you click completed, it turns green. And what this is, this is the trigger to update the plan with all this great intelligence. The notes, sales intelligence, meeting attendees or stance or role, everything is populated inside of the account plan. So I can go back into the account plan itself and I will see that under more here, I've got my meeting and here is the meeting that I just had. I've got my notes. I've got the actionable intelligence, customer requirements, the competitors, uh, pain points, strength, weaknesses. Here I can start working on my uh, how am I going to overcome my weakness, remove my obstacles or mitigate the objections. I've got all this great information right here and it not only feeds uh, this meeting page but it also builds out the customer team with their stance and role. So again, from just doing one meeting, it updates this entire plan automatically. One thing that it does do in addition is it starts updating the score. For example, if I looked at the score, I can see how I'm doing in this account uh, from the intelligence of the what I'm doing in the plan and also the sales intelligence that I'm gathering uh, in these meetings. So really when you, uh, when you have a meeting and you update it, it updates the plan and Meeting Mapper, what we use is included in Strategy Mapper and it all works together. So it's critical to once you get a meeting, document it and gather some great sales intelligence. Thank you for watching this short video. 
if you're a Strategy Mapper customer. Thank you for your support and loyalty. If you'd like to become a Strategy Mapper customer, please visit our website, pointintime.com, search for us on the Salesforce App Exchange Strategy Mapper, or contact us, email us, or call us. The next video is discussing SWOT analysis. We call it SWOT Analysis Plus because we put more information than your standard SWOT analysis. Thank you.